Hey there guys, um, I got some requests to show a budget run on the who, what, when, where bonus stage against um, the almighty Mohu. Um, you know, usually for these like bonus stages that are like on the border of being super easy or possibly tricky, um, I usually don't make a budget video unless they're specifically requested. So if you ever have problems with fights like this, let me know and you'll get a video explaining the fight. Uh, so... The boss, um, we're going to go to hard mode. The regular mode is the same thing, but we're going to go to hard mode because, uh, you know, it's more applicable. Uh, the missions are five turns or less, uh, ten turns or less, and no KOs. So the boss is a beast and a fairy. It's only weak to fire and light element. Um, it's got huge immunities to everything else, so you got to do fire or light element. It uses water and, ma uh, water and dark magic attacks. It uses blind. Um, and it deals more damage and takes less damage from humans. But that's not really going to be relevant. We're going to just take care of it with a Chow friend. Um, so we're going to go ahead and filter our list by, uh, by Chows, basically. So we're going to try to find one. I don't want one that's like super, super, like, way all-ish. I want to try to get like a, just a generic, like, EX2 one, if we can find one. Um, you do want an EX2 Chow, and you do want them to have gear on. Like, this one is just not geared, it looks like. Uh, here's one that's really well geared. Okay, here's one Yin to Yang at 6,300 spirit. That seems pretty pretty fine. Let's go ahead and inspect the gear real quick. Shift forms all we really care about. Uh, this one's okay. This one's fine. It's geared for killers, but Chow has natural killers to the fight anyway. Um, the LB is leveled and you know uh, spirit potted. Okay, so we're gonna take this one. Um, obviously, the better Chow, the better. But here we go. Preferably, you want one that is preemptively shifted. So starting in the shift form, I actually don't know the priority on um, on covering, but we want our own um, magical cover tank to cover the ambush because it's geared for it. Or if the chow is the chow friend is geared for it, that's fine as well. But their base form also has preemptive cover. Uh, so, <clears throat> so the boss during the ambush is going to have an AoE magical water and dark attack. So you really want your preemptive magical cover tank to be immune to water and dark damage. Uh, you could also just skip a magical cover tank entirely and gear your entire party in 100% water and dark resist. It's up to you. We're gonna go with Biggs and Wedge as a preemptive magic cover tank with um, immunity to water and dark damage. Um, so we're just using those super budget gear, Unsai clothes, Gigantor's mustache, and some Ravis TMRs. Uh, so 100% water and dark resist. Um, they're the they're the seven star version for preemptive magic cover tanks. Some other options are Shoreline Fina and Daisy. Um, they have 100 water and dark resist just while naked, and they have preemptive cover. Um, you could also use General Celeste. You could use. Uh, the shifted form of Maeve, or you could use the base form of Chow himself, as long as the tank has 100 water or dark resist. It's also going to be a single target physical attack, which we're going to evade and provoke with Jesse. So Jesse is geared for passive provoke evasion, which is just her TMR, and then the world champion, which is a free um, STMR from a three star unit that's from Waka. So 100% evasion, and she has um, passive provoke naturally. Uh, she doesn't need any resistances. Also, during the ambush, the boss is going to buff himself. And we're going to use Jesse to break, imperil, and dispel those buffs off the boss for us. And then the boss himself has, um, has evasion. So to chain on the boss, you need to either have a double hand with accuracy chainer, or um, an accuracy buff would work as well, or you could use a magical chainer. We're going to use Aerith and, and uh, the free Aerith to tag chain because her tag chains are magical, so they ignore evasion. And then the friend um, is going to just OTK this fight extremely easily on turn two. Um, so here's the friend's gear. Um, you know, use some STMRs. It's an EX2 child. N nothing excessive, though. I tried to avoid my, like, super whale EX3 friends because you don't need that. And if you've got your own child, it's fine. You know, honestly, you could potentially even OTK it on turn one. I OTK it on turn one on my own personal clear with the Chow, but that was using a whole team of really well-geared stuff. So here's the ambush. You saw um, the graphics are visually bugged where you don't see uh, 
the cover tank moving in front, but Biggs and Wedge covered the magic attack from the ambush, and Jesse provoked the single target physical from the ambush. Now here's the boss's preemptive buffs. These are all dispellable, except for one of the human things. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and use the friend Chow. Uh, you know, EX2 with, with a leveled up LB, he's gonna start with a max LB. So we're gonna quad cast in this order. Bestowment of Courage, that's a Magnus skill. Prosperous Light, and then Double Chow Chow Condemnation. Do that first. Okay. Now, if your Avalanche Jesse didn't quite get her LB, you could entrust the, the half LB from Biggs and Wedge over to Jesse, but mine has her LB level, so she's good. So we're going to use Jesse to now use her LB. That's going to break the boss's spirit. It's going to imperil the boss to light element. And hers is a perfect dispel. It's going to dispel all the boss's buffs away. Uh, you cannot remove the human mitigation. So, you know, things like, you know, um, uh, like Tifa or something. Not Tifa, because she's water element. Um, a light or fire DPS uh, would deal less damage on turn one, etc. Doesn't really matter. We're not going to use that. So Aerith can just guard here. Um, and then Biggs and Wedge can just guard here. We don't really need them yet. Okay, so the boss is going to, again, do some water and dark magic attacks and physical physical single target on turn one. So our Jesse provoked the single target. Our Biggs and Wedge um, covered the magic attack. They're, they're preemptively covering. And now we're time to kill the boss. So we're going to go ahead and just use the shifted LB of Chow. And we're going to quad magical tag chain so this won't get... Um, this won't get evaded or anything. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just click Chow and then click Aerith. And this will be the end of the boss. This is going to overkill by a huge amount. 2.9 billion. I don't know how many HP the boss has, but it's a whole lot less than 2.9 billion. So there was the budget run. Super easy. Super easy. Um, all you need is a friend Chow that is somewhat sort of okayishly geared. Uh, or your own Chow. And, or you could use that information that I gave you to build your own team and go for it. Some, some non-human options that are nice would be um, Yigni or Nappy. These can bypass the early human mitigation. You could also use Evokers to bypass the human mitigation. Um, the Fire Evoker is Terra. The Light Evoker is Yuna. Um, also potentially Dr Draconian Princess Fina, Neovision's Awakening. Her shift form is Light Evocation. She's pretty old, her damage is pretty low, but the boss is not that bad as long as you do the, the mechanics properly. Now, that being said, if you don't OTK the boss, uh, he does start doing like threshold stuff, attacks that bypass cover, and all that. So you really want to go for that, that OTK, just straight from 100% to dead, by using the information that I have given you. Um, so, you know, a, a single friend chow really, really easily handles this. And actually, if the friend Chow is only EX1 and is not EX2, um, we had empty party slots from the party. You could bring someone to entrust the Chow friend. So like, you know, Madame Adele, Bart, Shira, etc. And that way, if the Chow friend doesn't start with a full limit burst gauge, you can entrust the friend. And then an EX1 Chow is totally fine, as long as they're geared. I do know I do know a lot of the Chows on my friends list. They're like EX3, fully potted and all that, and then you inspect them, and they're wearing zero gear whatsoever. So double check the friend, make sure they're actually equipped their unit, and if that's the case, you're good to go. Um, there's the budget run for who, what, when, where. See you next time.